Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I want to talk about Lucifer on Netflix. So, just to give a little backstory, first of all, I'm going to do this video without any spoilers. Um, I don't believe in spoilers, I'm not going to ruin it for anybody, other than like the catch-up part, but... I'm not going to get too into the catch-up part because I'm not going to ruin it for people that haven't seen it. So, Lucifer started off as a show on Netflix, uh, or on Fox, and on the, on the Fox network, and, um... First of all, I want to let people know that it's not a satanic show or anything like that, so religious people need to sit down and chill out, take a sip of wine, and deal. Um, it is by no means at all a satanic show. It is not anything like that. It is actually based on a comic book, a DC comic book series called The Sandman, and Lucifer happened to be a popular character within the comic book, that the creators of the show decided to run this show with. And, um... So, Fox did the first three seasons, and what it's about, is, it's mainly a procedural, uh, procedural show. And, um... It's about the devil who takes a vacation from hell because he is no longer interested in running it or ruling it. So he goes to the City of Angels to for his escape slash vacation. And um, so he gets involved with, like, there was a shooting and... Um, somebody was murdered, and then he became a, uh, a consultant for the, um, the police department and all of that stuff, so he, you know, got into the, um, crime fighting of it all, really. So... <sighs> Sorry, guys, I've been binge-watching season four of Lucifer literally all day. I finished the entire fourth season today. So I got up really early, got my friends, brought them over. We had a viewing party. Um, it is May 9th, 2019. Um, the season four came out on Netflix yesterday. So anyway, going back to the first, the catch-up. So, the first season of anything is really slow, right? Um, because they have to introduce all the characters and all of that stuff. And then season two got better. Um, it brought more characters and it had character development. The third season was more emotional um than the first two because by that point you're already invested in the characters um and so fox did a terrible terrible i don't know who the fox president is or was or whatever the case may be but they made a really 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 unintelligent choice to cancel Lucifer. It was it was not an intelligent move. Um so then obviously millions of fans um you know came to action and saving Lucifer and they did. Uh it was something like I don't know, like, it, it took like a month, a full month or something like that after the cancellation of Lucifer for Netflix to um, sweep it up underneath the roster. <clears throat> now, coming on to season four, we have to get situated because we have to talk about season four. This is what this video is about.
Oh my goodness, guys. Holy moly. Anyway. So. Season 4. Uh, jumps like over a month later after season three ended and um because and i'm not going to spoil anything that happened in season three but because of an of events that happened in season three it really people are reeling and dealing with that in this season and it really makes the season more emotional and more impactful um I really do I I don't even care that the season is um only 10 episodes versus the 20 or 22 or whatever that normal networks do whatever um because Netflix if you were to watch season four, which you should, because Lucifer is one of the best TV shows ever made. Um, if you were to watch the, the difference in the quality from when Fox owned it to Netflix is an extreme difference. So, <clears throat> obviously, Netflix they don't have any rules when it comes to nudity or anything like that, right? So, obviously, airing on Fox, they have a lot of... They're more... Um, they're more restricted on what they can do. <coughs> and... But I'm really, 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 really happy and excited that they didn't change the show. Yes, there was more booty in it, um, and there was more of an occasional swear word here or there, and it was a little bit more graphic here or there, but it didn't change from the show that made the fans love it. It didn't change. Um, I just think that it expanded on it, um, and I really... I actually really love that it was only 10 episodes, that season 4 is only 10 episodes from Netflix, because every episode counted. Every episode progressed the story. There was not a single episode where you're just like, eh, we could have done with that episode. Every, every episode mattered, you know, every episode mattered. <clears throat> and the graphics... Let's talk about the graphics and action scenes. So, the graph, the special effects. So it looks like Netflix put the money that they, if they were a normal network and did twenty-two episodes, it looked like they took that budget that they would have done in twenty-two episodes and put it into the ten episodes, because there is an extreme difference between the quality and makeup of the devil face and everything that went with that versus how it looked in the first three seasons. Um, the action was way, way better in this season. And it was more emotional. I think that this season, season four, the Netflix's season, was by far the most solid uh, season, the strongest season of Lucifer so far. Sorry, guys. It had the story. It was very progressive. Um, it didn't waste time on the stupid things. Um, it had great character development. The special effects were really amazing. The action was amazing. The pacing was amazing. And above all, above all, the acting from each and every single one of our favorite characters did such an incredible job. 
uh, this is their best performance, and I think that they really did that because the fans saved the show, and I really do believe that they really did put their all into it, and it really showed. It was a very emotional season. Um, it was... Uh, it was a time well spent um, season, and it sucks because I don't want to spoil anything that happened in season three, and I'm not going to spoil anything for season four because obviously it's only been out for a day. I might talk about it later in the future, but I'm not going to ruin it for everybody else. I do think that it's the strongest season. Um, I really, 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 really hope, and I do... I'm so optimistic that they're going to make a fifth season because <clears throat> realistically, yes, they could end the series like that, but I don't think that Netflix went through all the hassle of buying the rights to the series and all of that just to do only do one season. I don't believe that at all. I th And there's so much material that they can cover. I mean, the Lucifer, the Sandman series with Lucifer is still going. <clears throat> so they have plenty of material um, to work with. And I really, really do think that they did an excellent job with how they did the fourth one. Um, so thank you to Netflix for saving this show for the fans because uh, you guys did an amazing job with it. Obviously the creators and everybody really put their best foot forward with this. <clears throat> I highly recommend the series. I mean, I... I can't talk about too much spoilers. Um, but I really do sincerely highly recommend the series. It is not a satanic series. It does not preach or force anything onto anyone. It is very lighthearted. It, I mean, obviously it does touch up on dark themes sometimes, obviously. Um, but there's so much characters and so much that's going on and it. it is a procedural show, but it does have, uh, uh, you know, the devil and, and also, so, this is not a spoiler because she was in the uh, promotional stuff, but Eve, as in Adam and Eve from the Bible, is in season four. Well, the actress that plays for her did such an... First of all, she's beautiful, and she was so likable off from the get-go. Like... I usually really, really, really hate love triangles, and I think that they really do bring franchises down. I, I, I think that they are so useless to the story. But in, in season four, I accepted it. This season four of Lucifer, I'm accepting it because the story's been around for literally thousands of years between what happened with Lucifer and um, Eve. So, I'm really not spoiling anything. Um, obviously, she comes back to reconnect with him, which is showed in the, the trailers and everything, so I'm not worried about spoiling those kind of things. Um, I do think that she came off as extremely likable. Obviously, her character um, was annoying at some parts, or a lot of parts, but she was just the actress and the the way that they handled her because she wasn't just one dimensional and then they were done with her. She really did have layers to her and she she was a three dimensional character. She, there was so many layers to her um, and she was so the actress just made her so likable and I really 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 hope that they bring her back for next season. Um, yeah, so I, I give major props to her because usually <clears throat> when a newbie comes on a series and they just become part of a love channel, you're just like, okay, you're, you're, 
just obnoxious go away kind of thing because you already have someone you know your favorite shipping couple that you want together so um but um i just i just love everything in season four i think that they did an excellent job uh and i really do think believe wholeheartedly that they need to make another season and there was only I, i'm not i wasn't disappointed with it but with i don't know if i should say this okay mm -hmm. I don't know if I should talk about it because I think that it's too spoiler, too much of a spoiler, or has to do with multiple multiple spoilers. If I talk about it, so I, I really can't talk about the only thing that I was really disappointed with, but I wasn't disappointed because it was mentioned so much, but it didn't happen, which I think is the the problem that I had because okay. I'm just going to say it. For people that really... I mean, I'm not going to spoil any of the story for Season 4. Um, but, so, we all know... And there's no spoiler, don't, don't worry about that. <clears throat> we all know the story of Adam and Eve. Right? And, and what happened between Adam, Eve, Lucifer, humanity, the whole nine yards, right? Well, Eve was not Adam's first wife, and she wasn't the first woman. Lilith was. And Lilith, in the comic books of the Sandman series, in this Lucifer storyline, Lilith is Mazikeen Maze's mom. Um... And it hasn't shown her up until this point, right? So, they, they, so, it's just one of those things where, um, like, a lot of shows will mention something at the beginning and then not mention it again until the very end to have that shock factor for the fans and everything because they'll forget all about it and they'll be like, oh my god, I can't, you know, that kind of thing. But with Lucifer, they mention Lilith a lot. And, you know, I, I believed wholeheartedly that they were going to bring Lilith into the series. Um, and because I thought that they were really hyping it up. Because, like, she's Mazikeen's mom. Maze's mom. Um, you know, she's the mother of demons, <clears throat> and she was Adam's first wife, which Eve is in the show, and she mentioned how she didn't live up to Adam's expectations because Lilith was so perfect and everything for him, or, you know, he that's what he believed. But it that's the only thing that disappointed me was that all this hype and they didn't introduce her. So that's literally the only thing from the season that was disappointing. I, I, I think that they did everything else just absolutely amazing. I really do. And I think that they did such a hard job on it and it paid off. And in season five, I re because I've seen so many incarnations of Lilith like, all the Supernatural series, you know, the different shows and stuff, have their own um, version of Lilith. And really, she's become more popular than Lucifer. She's the she's the baddest demon in hell. She is the Queen Bee, so she is Madam Satan. Um, so I am highly interested to see how that would turn out. Because she is in the comic books of the Sandman series, so um, I am very much in um, in anticipation of her appearance.
because I want to see what they're going to do with it. I think that they did an excellent job with Eve. I, I really do. And I really love what they did with the characters. Oh, my goodness. Um, my only thing is, though, so my favorite L Lilith or Madam Satan, or Mother of Demons, or whatever you want to call her. My favorite Lilith, version of Lilith, is actually in the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina series. And the actress, I just love her so much. She is such a talented actress, and she's so lovable. Like, you know that you want to root against her, but you really can't because she's so likable. I mean, you can and you can't, and you want to see her succeed, but you don't want to see her succeed. It's kind of one of those situations where it, it creates an inner battle within the audience because you're just like, man, she's such a great character, and I don't want her to go, but like she's causing so much chaos kind of thing. Um, but she does it in such a humorous way. It's just like, <laughs> I can't believe she just did that kind of thing. So I... So, I I really think that it would be such a fan moment for everyone if they took that actress from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, also on Netflix, and brought her in as Lilith in Lucifer. Uh, in the Lucifer show. And, um... What was I going to say? Um, because she is, um, you know, she would be the right age to be, uh, you know. She, I don't know how to describe it, really. Because she, the actress, you know, she... She just looks like she's, I don't want to say a vampire, but like somebody that would live forever. Um, and she does give me vampire vibes, so that, and vampires are immortal. Um, but she plays Lilith exactly how I'd want to watch her. Any actress plays a little. I mean, she does it to a T. And I really, really... Every, I think everyone would have a total fan moment if they took the actress from The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina and uh, brought her into the Lucifer show. And I, I think that it would be amazing. I really think that the chemistry between Tom Ellis and everybody and the actress that plays for um, Lilith and The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, I really do think that their chemistry and their humor would really, like, feed off from each other. I really do think that I, I would really love their um, interactions with each other. Um, so I really hope that the um, Lucifer show, you know, does that because that would be so epic and insane and it would be so awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what else to say without saying any spoilers, so I might as well just leave it at that. Um, yeah, that's the only thing I'm disappointed at, about was them not bringing in, because I so, I expected the shock value at the end to, you know, Lilith is, you know, gonna, you know, returns at the end and would have you wait a whole year or six months or whatever Netflix does until the next part or next season and have the fans anticipate, you know, and the momentum of the anticipation built up. Because it would be so incredible. It would be so epic. The actress is so lovely and so amazing. So... And Lucifer is literally one of the most perfect, amazing shows I've ever seen in my life. So, uh, I think that, oh my god, I just can't get over the special effects, and I don't want to ruin anything or spoil anything, so I really can't 
talk too much about season four other than it was an excellent season. But the special effects really, it just brought the level of quality up for the show versus the first three seasons. And the first three seasons are great. Not taking anything away from them. You know, they worked with what they had and they worked damn hard. And they did such an amazing job. I just feel that Netflix handled things differently and better. So, it was more emotionally gripping. I mean, me and my friends cried like at least three different times during this season, the fourth season. And, um, you know, they kept the humor that they had, you know, in the previous seasons. And, you know, they touched up on so much. It was so crazy. Um, but I hope you guys check it out because it's really great. So, uh, make sure that you, um, if you want to talk about it, leave it in the comments. Make sure that there's no spoilers for, please, at least a week for everyone to catch up and, and be able to see it and experience it before everyone, you know, has it spoiled for them. So, but... Let's keep it clean down in the comment section and tell me what you thought of it. You know, if you like it, didn't like it, who your favorite characters are, if you loved the inclusion of Eve and um, all of that stuff. Um, make sure you subscribe to my channel um, if you love my reviews. So um, until next time, guys, great job on Lucifer and thank you to Netflix. Have a great day, guys.